right hi everyone welcome on board today i'm really, really humbled and very very proud to share you a moment with you that we've got director of irma uh, umakan das sir who is joining us sir welcome on board thank you very much this is so amazing by the way sir is a phd from iit kanpur sir has taught in bich bilani uske baad sir keeps frequent visit to am trichi i am nagpur as well and also is at irma past 3 years sir has spent nearly 17 now 19 years with association with iit chennai as well and now is the helm of ship of irma today i'm going to ask him tough questions sir um, how is irma doing right now i know you're a very specific school rural management uh, i know the the heart of india is in the villages and um, the growth has to come from the villages right now and the government of india has also realized how is irma doing aur mujhe thoda course ke bare mein bataiye sir Yeah. So first of all, thank you very much for having me in your platform, and let me take uh, this opportunity through your uh, channel to congratulate all those uh, candidates who successfully cleared uh, the CAT exam. Uh, to answer your question, why MBA in rural management? Again, uh, because of the sheer size and uh, volume of the market. If you see, close to seven seventy percent of the people they are still in the rural area. So that's our catchment area to rural market. And it's if it's forty-seven, close to forty-six six to forty-seven percent is of the GDP or, or the national income comes from the rural area. So the given the size and scope of the market, definitely there is a need for a a, a special brand like rural management. Wow. Of course, we do teach the courses like any other mainstream B school, but here the perspective is to understand the rural market better. The perspective is to uh, understand the people, uh, and uh, the they should it should be attuned to the needs of the underserved segments. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's gain. Uh, uh, rural management is uh, is uh, where uh, the opportunity is again when we are talking about. Uh, Uh, the 2040 by 2047. When we say Vikasit Bharat, we want to become a developed country. Want to get transformed from developing economy to a developed economy. You see, there is a lot of uh, uh, opportunities which are there for uh, managers to work with the development sector, to work with the government sector, to work even in the FMCG and the corporate sector, which are uh, doing uh, business in the rural areas. and which are focusing on the rural market and which are focusing with the uh, the development sector great sir sir to rural matlab but i was seeing some uh, consulting names coming on the campus now i know the average placement has also gone up by 10% to 12, 10 15% this year but i was checking it up sir there people are getting into consulting main agar rural padhta hu to kya pehli baat to mujhe rural wali job hi milegi because some people sir being honest want to get out well uh, yeah so well when we say rural management not necessarily you have to be in the uh, in the rural areas the only thing what we are teaching is the decisions that you are going to take for the rural market rural economy or the underserved people so whether you are staying in the urban or whether you are working with the government or whether you are working in the corporate sector or the banking sector still you can the decisions that you take in your day to day life that that involves the rural segment rural market rural economy hmm. so that is what we highlight how your the consumers of the rural economy or the rural market is different from the urban uh, consumers the ecosystem that you see in the rural is different from the ecosystem that we see in the urban area so it's basically a comparison compare right. and contrast between the corporate sector and the cooperative sector or the development sector right right sir i um i beg to differ i'll give you my perspective sir theek okay? hai after my engineering i was posted in a rural economy in tatas in a way back in a small place called jama doba it was bihar that time and uh, i think now it's jharkhand but sir mere ko to wahan pe after like a month time i was like done you know enough of rural and uh, but if i look back my major learning of life where i saw the real india came from that where you know uh, even from the people how they eat how they how they behave how they have a deeper respect for other people also was much more much more deeper and the way tata functions in bombay and the way tata functions in different areas of hinterlands of india was totally different i could see that i could feel that their policies mm -hmm. were different but um, do you think indian generation right now is also Uh, uh, want to give back? 
और इस जस्ट द टॉक इन द कि मेरे को हमें रूरल करना है सी के प्रहलाद साहब ने बोला है कि भाई लाइफ इज एट द बॉटम ऑफ द पिरामिड राइट नाउ दैट वी बीन हेयरिंग राइट नाउ व्हाट शुड टेक ऑन दैट नो इट्स लाइक अगेन द कॉल ऑफ द और यू कैन से द नीड ऑफ द आर व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सोशल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली प्रोडक्ट्स व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट the growth of the economy and the development of the economy it's not that we are doing lip service but this is the need of the hour and people are also when we are moving from or say inorganic farming to organic farming we have realized the importance of organic farming we have realized the importance of the value system that prevails in the in in our heartland heartland is the rural right, right? so that that definitely uh, we have seen how it is different from the western cultures our culture is becoming more important our value system is becoming more important and we realize the importance of our uh, tradition age old tradition so i think it's not just the uh, lip service but people have realized the importance and people have started valuing what we so uh, till i think because because in a way education yeah. awareness now we are now aware of the importance of our uh, culture the importance of our uh, the depth of our culture so uh, going forward I, i'm sure uh, the the uh, it's going to influence our demand it is going to influence our uh, living style it is going to influence our uh, the behavior so therefore as young budding managers we need to know how the the system is changing and the demands or requirements of the new system true true that true that and sir um again sir can i ask you some tough questions sure 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 sir how is the how the we were discussing it offline mai pooja sir ko aaj live mein puch lete hain sir ye um how is the government of india doing it nothing against the current government i'm a big fan uh, but nothing against the government of india but uh, do you think the things have been changing over a period of time over the last decade over the last 50 years Uh, like Irma has been established from a long time. I know Professor Balla, who was nearly at 18 years at Irma. Uh, sir, you've spent your time at um, IIT, best of the institution in the world. You yourself, you've done a PhD, then taught there for 17 years. You've taught at Vich Pilani, best of the institutions. But uh, when it comes to this rural as a segment, particularly in education, I, I know a lot of things are happening with, with a lot of yojanas being coming up. Uh, as you said, it's not no longer lip service. But sir, education in this segment. do you think there is still the focus up there and uh, uh, and more students are going to get attracted towards because to bring the change sir we have to start from a the heart which is the which is the villages mm. i think as an institute irma we are very closely working with uh, uh, ministries like minister of rural development ministry of panchayat raj ministry of uh, agriculture and animal husbandry ministry of cooperation which is the the youngest ministry hmm. uh, uh see what we have seen and my experience uh things are now we are uh, more uh, uh, focused to the development of the rural sector now suppose for example if you take the cooperative ministry uh we have i think many of us might not be knowing that there are 8 lakh more than 8 lakh cooperative uh, cooperatives hmm. right now suppose if we want to professionalize because it's running the way it used to be right because no it's not uh, organized the governance in some of the cooperative uh, cooperatives that like, there is no governance and it is not run professionally suppose if we want to prof- make them run professionally because professionalizing the institutions which are working the rural area is one of the objective of why irma was set up okay now whether you take the cooperatives or whether you take the agriculture apmcs There are so many uh, APMCs in every uh, say state or every district. We have so many APMCs now. Mm-hmm. You'll see the agriculture sector, which of course the demand uh, at one point of time it was contributing close to forty percent. Is right now it is contributing to fifteen percent. But some of the sectors, if you take the dairy sector, or if you take the sugar, so these are the sector where, where uh, the things are to be professionally run because mm-hmm. have uh, it to grow. now these are the sector which need to grow hmm. now dairy sector is one of course suppose if you see uh, the amul hmm. which was which was one of it's like fmcg yeah it's a, and the it's culture is like fmcg and this is it's, it's contributing more than uh, fmcg true true right today it is 70000 crores yeah. the business right 
So it is. It's. It's not where. Uh, it's not that rural management means you are going to the rural areas, but it is going to the culture. It is going to be the perspective. It is going to be a, 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 a new a, using a lens to see the color of the economy. Sir, the one or one more question, Puchi. Sir, I am. I am sold on the idea of rural management. We need more. You know. agni veers in the rural area segment you know if i have to call that word rural veers should be there in fact but sir why there is one irma there should be more irmas why only it be. why it there should only? be main to sir question puchta hu main apne channel pe ki why there is only one fms where is low cost fees and 2 lakh rupees fees 34 lakh rupees average package but sir irma to matlab if it is done well sir har state ke andar irma hona chahiye har state mein nearly hazar bachcha hona jo har gaon mein ek hamara rural veer lag sakta hai who can actually work with the sarpanch and assuming sir all the forces are aligned together assuming we got budget wo sab cheeze but i'm just talking about a utopia what do you think about it sir we should have more irmas it yes i completely agree with you that we should have uh, more irmas and we should have uh, irma like institutions in almost all the states that is what we even the government is have realized even when we talk about the new cooperation policy mm. you might have uh, got mm. a chance to uh, go through or you will get very soon the, the opportunity to go through where even we have uh, proposed that there has to be a, a a kind of national cooperative university so that uh, there are going to be sufficient institutions to train thank you very much thank you thank sir you.